say I've been getting tatted. They say they like my thing, yeah. I say that I'm flattered. They ask me where I've been, I say I've been getting tatted. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're just going to be doing the oil change on my E60 with the M52 engine. Now the reason I haven't posted for quite a few days is because I've been very down and um, very ill. So I've just been recovering. So now we're going to get back to shooting the videos. So today I'm just going to be servicing my E60. I'm going to be showing you how to do it properly, including with the Vanos filter that I got went on about in my previous Vanos error code video. I'm going to show you the filter you need to look for. And then I'm going to show you how you make sure that that's working and how to make sure that ain't blocked up either. As if it blocks up, it can't stop your whole Vanos working properly. Now, another thing you need to be aware of when doing this is that to make sure when you drain the oil, to make sure you check the right and how much is in, actually in there. So you can see if your engine is actually burning oil and also make sure there isn't no kind of metal fragments inside there where something has broken or something's come off inside the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pull the E60 in and I'm going to show you how to service it and to drain the oil. So guys, as you'll see here, this is the engine itself that we're going to be servicing, which is the M52 engine. Now, the oil filter sits right here, as many of you guys are probably already aware. But what I'm going to be showing you is how to remove that. And also, when you take it out, you've got to let the oil drain back down, because obviously, like me, I've just started the car to move it around, so I can bring it in here. So I'm going to show you how to remove the, this, first of all, and then we're going to go under the car and we're going to drain the oil. So let's go ahead and crack that off and get that removed. So guys, as you'll see here, I'm just going to take off this oil cooler cover which is right here so it gives us more room now servicing the m52 engine isn't that difficult and this is the same for the m53 engine as well now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to grip it with this like i've got here these tools then you're just going to want to unloosen it now as you can see there's already unloosened and now what we're going to do is just spin it now i tell you guys all the time i usually service my cars every seven to five k on the oil change this one's way overdue and that's why the ticking as well as you guys would have seen on my previous video why it's, the car's been ticking as well because i haven't really changed the oil so now i'm going to change because i'm going to be using this over the christmas period so we have to get this done so as you'll see right there i've now got the filter release and so now what i'm going to do is we're going to move to underneath the car now we're going to leave the filter like that and i'm just going to shut the bonnet to obviously jack the car up but as you guys know on the e60 they've got a jacking point right at the front just before the sump so you can jack the car straight up in the air and get to the sump to unbolt the sump plug so let's go underneath and i'm going to show you where that's located so as you guys can probably see there that's the sump plug right there that we're going to be releasing now you want to drain it so it comes straight into your pan literally right here because you want to drain it straight into your pan as it comes from down from there now as you see there's a 16 mil bolt i'm just going to get my ratchet on it and i'm just going to release it but we're going to keep the sump plug because i'm going to reuse it because there's nothing wrong with this one um i know people say to take this plastic bit off but you don't have to though if you get it correctly this part you can actually leave on and just drain the oil so we're just going to go ahead and do that so guys what i'm going to go ahead and do is now i'm going to crack the nut loose which is right here so as you'll see there now it's now been released so now what we're going to do is just going to loosen it up. And now, we're just going to want to release it till all the oil comes out, like that. And as you see there, the oil has now come out. So as you'll see guys, we're just going to let this now bleed down. We're going to let all the oil, as you see there, it's just running all the way down into the pan, into the bucket. So we're just going to leave that like that. Just let it keep bleeding out and we're going to go to the top of the engine and just remove the oil filter now and get that out so we can put the new one in while we leave that like that. So let's go to the top of the engine. Now guys, that's the sump plug. Now as you guys probably remember, I changed this previously when we did the oil service anyway. So I'm not going to change it again because it's still actually in good condition. There's no need to actually change it. Just going to put the new o-ring back on it and that's about it really but apart from that the sun plug's still in good condition so i'm not going to change it and put another one in we'll keep letting the oil to drain and we're just going to take the oil filter out now and then put the oil filter new oil filter in so as you guys can see there i'm now going to take the oil filter out now as you see the cap comes out first because it just always ends up doing that because where the oil filter is loose then you're just going to take the filter out itself and as you can see that filter is quite in bad condition from the oil so that's a good thing I did change this now. It's way overdue. So we're now just going to change that out. But I've got a bag here ready for the oil filter to go into. So it don't go everywhere. Which is what we're going to do. We do need to push out this little Vanos pit. That I always tell you guys not to forget. Which now we have out, which is 
this part right here. So we're just gonna do that, take that one away. Now this isn't a messy job guys by any means that you need to worry about, it's just very messy at this point because of, like I say, I had to start the engine before I did this to get it in the garage. Now as you'll see there, that's the Vanos footer that I tell you guys always about. This is the part right here that you need to make sure is always, always there because this separates the oil for the amount to control the oil pressure to the Vanos itself. Without this, your Vanos will not function properly. Now it sits in like that, so you need to be aware of that and it controls the oil around the filter to the Vanos itself. So that's why I'm telling you guys, make sure you have this part in here because if it's not there and it's not with your oil filter, you'll be in great, big crap because this is a very very important as i said for the vanos so let's change the filter over so as you'll see right there guys i'm not using some crappy filter i'm using an actual man one so we're just going to slot this back into here as we go it just goes back in like that now i was going to change the rubber o-rings but i don't actually have to because they haven't been too long ago replaced but what i'm going to do is always change the one on the cap which you'll see right here. We're gonna change this one. I'm just gonna take that one off of a pick and put a new one on. So guys, we're just gonna grab the oil O-ring like that, the oil filter cap O-ring, take it off. Now what we're gonna do is get a new one. Which is right here. Then what you're gonna do is dip your finger in the oil, rub it around the seal to make sure it seals properly seal it all up and then we're just going to wrap it around here make sure you wrap it around properly as it will come off so as you can see there you just want to wrap it around now now that's done make sure it's oiled up before you put the filter back in so now what we're going to go ahead and do is put the oil filter back in itself so we just go like that and push it back in to place which it now is back in place then what you want to do is allocate the Vanos and then just turn this on. Now guys, it is all common sense to so just bear that in mind that you just need to repair it. You just got to tighten it back up, make sure it's tight as you would any oil filter. You just keep tightening it back onto the little block itself. see there we've got that tire so now that's the oil filter system done so now what we're going to do is move down to the sump so guys as you'll probably see here now the oil is still draining a bit so what we're going to do is just going to wipe that up with the tissue to stop it from leaking as you'll see we're going to keep wiping it until it actually stops which it probably won't and then what we're gonna do is get our new sump plug. Now, as you'll see here, as you'll see here as well, we got a new washer on it, which we couldn't get off this one. So we're gonna be using a new one on here. And we're just gonna slot it straight in to the sump itself and start tightening it. Now, when you do this, please make sure you don't drop the sump plug back into the <laughs> pan that you're draining the oil from, because that obviously be catastrophic if you do that. Now, as you can see here, I'm tightening it back up all by hand. Then what you want to do, you just want to get in there, clean up any mess that's been left after the tightening from the previous oil, so you don't have any oil leaks. Then you're just going to want to take your 17 mil socket, which is right here. So as you see, guys, there's the sump pan right there. We've now rebolted it back up. With the new sump plug it's all looking nice and clean there now put the new seal in everything's lovely jubbly as you see my pan's quite clean up there anyway because of when i sealed it to stop it any leak any more leaking as you guys know the sump gasket likes to leak on these but we've done that now so that's now what we're going to do is refill the oil so let's go to the top of the engine and refill the oil guys so guys this is going to come as quite a bit of a shock to you but today we're going to be using the mobile super 3000 5 watts by 30 now i know a lot of you are used to me using shell but um i end up getting this at a really really great trade price and i've got quite a few here so i'm going to be doing the e46 as well 
um, which is the M54 engine. So I bought this very, very cheap mobile compared to what Shell is. So, and that's the reason I went and got it because Shell wasn't down on price, but this one was, so I thought, why not? As you guys see here, you know, you can't go based on my recommendations. It's all based on what you can afford and what you prefer. Everyone has their own brands. I'm using mobile just because it was cheap at the time. And like I say, it's a very, very expensive oil. Everyone knows it. So I'm just gonna be using it on this car now. I feel I should be. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do is put this in this car. And I'm gonna be doing this on the M54 as well, using the same oil. I know it's a bit of a shock, like I said, but it is what it is. So guys, now what you're gonna to wanna to do is just pour it in now. This is a one litre one. So we're gonna be putting a one litre one. As you guys know, this car takes six and a half litres. So we're just gonna put the first litre in which is right here, pull that straight in. Now we've got the daddy, which is the five litre one of the mobile as well. So we're just gonna pull that one in. Then what we'll do is we'll start the car up after and just check that everything's correct, which it should be. I've done this many times on this car, so I know how, what it takes. You know, and one thing about it guys, don't be scared to try different oils on these engines because you never know, you might find an oil that is really, really good for this engine which keeps it quiet. As you guys know where my oil had broken down and the oil, as you saw there, the lifters started ticking. So you can get a lot of problems from, you know, not have keeping one oil. So you might be better off with changing another oil like Liquid Moly or other brands out there. There's quite a lot of brands out there. So don't be scared to try, especially on the M52 and M53 engine. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is put a half a liter in again which is the six and a half. So what we're gonna do is just pour that in. And remember, too little oil is no good for the engine. Too much oil is too bad for the engine. So just remember that guys as well, to make sure you put it correct. Don't pull it over thinking it's gonna do your engine any good cause it won't. But now that's the oil service now complete on the M52. As I said to you guys, you just gotta remember that you make sure the Vanos filter is on the oil for how which is right here, make sure it's in there because that will cause your Vanos codes. And just make sure while you're here guys, playing about with the engine, doing your servicing, your regular servicing, that you just go over a few things and check over your engine, make sure everything's fine now. As I said, I'm gonna be using this engine over the Christmas period. This is why I am doing what I'm doing now. I've tried to show you guys very close up about how to do it on the M52 engine, which I know I haven't done previously. So that's why I've showed you the best I could. But now service complete, now I'm gonna show you how you check your oil on the iDrive as well and how to check that it's filled up because a lot of you might not have the dipstick if you don't have the M54 engine on your E60. So you might only have the oil level sensor, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. And you've got to wait for it to get up to temperature before you can even see that. So let's go into the car and I'm gonna show you how you check the oil level. Okay guys, so first start now after the oil change. So let's start the car. So there we go, it's already started. So now, once you've started the car, what you're gonna wanna go over to is your iDrive, as you'll see there. You're gonna wanna hit the center scroll wheel in. So it loads up the information screen like that. You're then gonna wanna go over one click, info sources. Then you're gonna wanna scroll down twice. So it takes you to service. Then push the wheel in. Then what you're gonna wanna do is go press down and then move the wheel over. So then what you land on is engine oil level. So then what you're gonna wanna do is press that in. Now as you see it's showing no measure value it was just showing but now it's showing the full oil, oil level which as you see there's at the max, which is absolutely correct. It's not over, it's not below, it's the full reading. So we just let it get up to temperature so the oil can work itself around the engine. And then that's how you would check the oil in your iDrive to make sure your level is actually correct. Now, some of you may have the M54 engine underneath, which then means you'll have the dipstick as well as the oil level sensor, which is a good thing. If you don't have the dipstick, then this is how you would tell your oil level on the iDrive. This is how you could do it on all the cars. It's very, very simple to do after you've changed the oil. So just make sure you come and check that. So that way you can tell, see if your oil level is actually correct. If you have an E90, however, and you don't have the iDrive, you'll have it on a stalk. So you need to go through the BC button and you have the oil level there and it will load up on the screen in the middle there. As you guys will know, it will show you minimum or max and it will show your oil level. As you see now, the car settled down and idled perfectly. So that's the oil service fully complete. So there you have it guys. I've just shown you how to change the oil in your M52 engine as well as change the oil filter. 
and what to check for the Vanos filter as well. Now, anyone with an M53 engine, you will not have that filter inside your oil filter. So please do not comment saying, I do not have this filter. You will not have this, you do not have Vanos. M53 engine, they got rid of the Vanos, you use direct injection. So please, you will not have that filter for your oil filter. But the oil service is exactly the same. The sump's exactly the same, everything is the same. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Please go ahead and like the video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.